Okay, so I've bought myself one of these Adventure King, I think it's a 2 by 25 meter awnings. Now, the problem that I have is that to fit the awning, I have to put it onto a piney platform, tray. And the brackets that they give you for it do not fit properly across there to be nice and strong. So I did some looking around and I found that Rhino actually do a new bracket that works really, really well for it. So here are the new brackets. They, they work really well. They do look better than just the box. They're nice, solid. This part mounts onto the rack and this part marks onto the awning. Now the biggest issue with this is that the awning brackets, which are these ones that show what the gap in the awning is, now they've got 40, about 45 mil centers on those, whereas your standard awning mounts are about 50 mil centers. So what I'm going to do is mount this up to this in a minute and uh, drill it out and show you how you can elongate one of the holes, I suppose, and then mount my awning up and show you how it fits. Okay. Okay, so all I've done so far is I've mounted the original um, King's awning bracket through one hole onto the uh, Rhino rack mount. And as you can see, that hole lines up and that hole is about five mil out. So all I'm gonna do is drill out that hole using the awning, uh, the King's awning bracket as a guide to drill through. Uh, that being the case, it should drill through fairly easy and I'll be left with an elongated hole on the Rhino, one that fits perfectly with the one from King's. Okay, I'll drill that out next. Okay, so the drilling's done. As you can see, I was a little bit off center. Uh, as I didn't have a vice or a drill press or anything else, I did it uh, standing up on a, a with a, a hand drill, a battery hand drill like that. Um, but nevertheless, it still fits and it still works. So I'll show you it in there in a minute, and then I'll show you with the whole thing done and the uh, awning mounted. But um, it just shows you how, how actually easy it is and how easily you can do it um, if I'm doing it with a hand drill and no vice. So anyway, I'll show you the next bit and then we'll go from there. So all I've done here is just pop that little black end cap off and slid the screws in here. Okay, so there we go. She's all mounted up. Uh, it's a King's 2.0 meter by 2.5 meter awning on a Rhino rack platform. As you can see, the screws came in very close to square, which wasn't bad for freehand. Uh, it's solid as a brick shit house and uh, isn't really going to move anywhere. I suppose the whole job took me about half an hour all in all. Would have been a lot easier if I had two people. So there you go. And they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. There's a 1991 uh, Forerunner with the 2017 uh, platform rack and uh, King's awning. Alright, I hope it uh, helps you out. Thanks, bye.